Hello, my name is James Whistler and this video is designed to show you how to create an MSI deployment installer to install your IronSpeed generated application onto your development machine. Utilizing an MSI installer for your application dramatically simplifies the process of implementing your application onto your server. Here you can see a simple example of the Southwind database that ships with designer product. I'm going to show you how to build the MSI to implement this on your server and then we're going to consider the advantages of using an MSI for deployment. Moving across into the designer product rather than looking in our browser we can find the option to build our MSI underneath the deployment menu in the deployment wizard option. If we click into there we'll see a number of different options available to us within the wizard and of course for this the purposes of this video we're going to be selecting the generate, M generate MSI installer as you can see there. So let's click next and go through and run the process. The first thing we need to specify to the wizard is exactly which deployment folder we're going to be building our package into. I'm going to go with the default uh, which is on my C drive. This application is called MyApp1 um, and by default designer has create, is going to create us a folder suffixed underscore deploy as you can see there. So staying with the default folder which uh, the deployment wizard has selected for me, I'm going to click through into the next button and here I can specify assembly information which is going to be incorporated and included in my MSI. Um, so we can obviously name our application but critically we can include features such as the version number, uh, company name and product description. Uh, these are generally very useful if you're distributing your application to clients or customers rather than building something for internal use. Um, and I'd advise you to make good use of them. So in my case I'm going to leave the product name as MyApp1 and I'm also going to leave the version number uh, untouched. I'm going to include my company name and then I'm going to give it a description of the product which is MSI test example. I can then include my own copyright for my company and any trademark information that might be relevant to me. I'm then going to click Next. And here I'm just being shown a summary of what is actually going to be built for me. We're going to be built, uh, have a deployment installer file, which is the MSI itself, uh, built which is myapp one MSI in that deployment folder within a setup directory. And we're also going to have that deployment fil folder built for us automatically by the wizard. So let's click Finish and let the, uh, the wizard, the de um, MSI deployment wizard, build our MSI for us just by clicking finish. Now for the purposes of this video uh, I haven't uh, actually recorded and allowed you to download a video which just shows that uh, generate running um, so you'll have to take my word for it that it didn't take a terribly long time but here you can see that the wizard's finished uh, the MSI deployment installer has told me that it's been built for me so we can go into our directory structure now and just check that that MSI exists um, at, before we copy it up to our development or pr our production machines. So navigating into the C drive of my machine you'll see that I've got the MyApp1 application folder as we were working with within Designer. In addition now the wizard has built me the MyApp1 underscore deploy folder and that's where I can find my deployment project and the MSI which has been created for me. So let's have a look in MSI uh, or rather the myapp1 underscore deploy folder and in there in the setup folder within there you'll see an MSI or Windows installer package called myapp1. Now all you would need to do to implement this application or the, this web project onto your development or production server is to transfer that via FTP and then run it on your development or production server machine. Uh, no other files need to be taken with it at all. Everything is incorporated within that one file and can be copied directly up and run on the development or production machine for you. There are a number of other aspects of using MSIs to deploy, deploy your applications that are worth mentioning. Firstly, if you've been running with an access database, if your application is running against an access database, that access database will be incorporated and included within the MSI itself. So there is no need to copy up a separate database uh, along with the MSI 
it's already incorporated in that MSI for you and it will be installed by the MSI on the development and production server at the other end without you having to copy it and manually install it. In addition, if you've been using a SQL Server database or a MySQL database and been using stored procedures, those stored procedures will also be incorporated within the MSI and will be installed into the database using the uh, connection string within your web config on the development or production server. Um, the only thing that you might need to amend um, following running the MSI on that machine is to amend the web config connection string to point to the different database on the, or the database server um, from the production end. Other than that, everything that with, is required within your SQL database or MySQL database or Oracle will have been copied up and all of those stored procedures will have been installed by the MSI itself when you run it on that machine. The one final aspect of running an MSI which is worth mentioning is the virtual directory creation or otherwise as performed by the MSI. If you run the MSI on the machine and the virtual directory is not already created, again the MSI will create it automatically for you and configure IIS to point to it. If there is one already in existence, you already have a virtual directory, so for example you might be uh, updating your application with a newer version rather than installing it anew or completely afresh. In that instance, none of the virtual directory or IIS settings will be overwritten by the MSI. So the MSI is intelligent enough to detect that existence before it runs and will not amend any of the current setup on that machine. So I switch back into Designer. The only final thing that's possibly worth mentioning about using MSIs to deploy your application is that depending on the nature of the server or hosting environment, um, the option to run an MSI may not be available to you. So if you're running under uh, something like a shared hosting environment such as hosted by DiscountASP.net or GoDaddy, which are two of the popular shared hosting environments that uh, Ironspeed applications work well with, um, unfortunately you will not have the authority or in that shared hosting environment to run the MSI. Um, so in that instance in a shared hosting environment it may well be that the option to build, upload and then run an MSI may not be available to you. It's worth looking into that if you are running in a shared hosting environment just to check that the option of running an MSI is available to you before you go ahead and build one. Although having said that clearly the wizard does all the work for you so if you were subsequently to find that it's not available to you um, you wouldn't have wasted a great deal of your development time. So that's all I really have to say about running and building um, MSI deployment installers for your applications. I hope you found it useful. There's plenty more help in the online help or in the forums of course, um, but it's certainly an option for uh, installing your applications which I thoroughly recommend you have a look into. Thank you very much for watching.